swear on the farm. On January 4th, 2011, Charles Ayako Nyachai was sworn in alongside eight other commissioners to oversee the implementation of the constitution, an onerous task to say the least, and one that a year later he looks back at with a sense of fulfillment. Initially, like in any other process, there were hiccups in terms of uh, uh, agreeing on the actual day-to-day um, uh, -day process. And uh, to, a, to a large extent, this was inevitable because this was a new process. Um, in, in addition to having a brand new constitution, you also had a brand new uh, body and a brand new uh, concept of how uh, the implementation was going to be um, uh, overseen. Uh, and, and therefore that meant coming up with mechanisms that ensured that uh, that new body, namely CIC, uh, was able to discharge or is able to discharge its mandate under the constitution. So initially at the beginning of last year there were a few hiccups, but by April of 2011 we had essentially agreed on the uh, process to be followed. The son of former long-serving civil servant Simeon Yachai, who has thrown one too many juggernauts at those whose actions he perceives to be inconsistent with the constitution whose implementation he is mandated to oversee, doesn't regret apparent confrontations, adding that where he has to do it, he will, for the good of the Kenyan people. My sense is that the people of Kenya remain resolute in wanting the, uh, uh, the constitution, their constitution implemented in letter and spirit. If everybody did their bit and everybody uh, uh, who is part of the process was committed to, to carrying out uh, their part of it, then it would not appear like we have uh, such significant differences or that there is a, a confrontation and therefore we would not appear to be that bold or that courageous. It's just that we are just carrying out the job, but because there are those who are sick, uh, whether by default or whether deliberately, because change is difficult, I think there are many people who probably did not appreciate the transformative nature of uh, the constitution. Now, when you face resistance, then you look like there's really something big or that you're really bold or that you're really courageous. It isn't really that. Nyachai reveals it's been a learning curve for the CIC team, a fact he says can inspire Kenyans to embrace constitutionalism in the manner of its full purpose. Uh, so that even if, for example, the, 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 the president is making decisions, those decisions must be justifiable by reference to uh, the constitution. We are living through this process and, and, and Kenyans are seeing uh, uh, the society, the nation, changing as a result of this constitution. He is confident that the process, though complex, has gathered enough momentum to go all the way. And on the bills that are due for enactment by the end of 18 months since the effective date. The policy differences, the political differences, may not have been erased 100%, but I think they have been uh, uh, reduced to manageable levels and to levels that I think I can say with, with a, a fair measure of confidence that um, uh, it means that the process will not be uh, uh, will not be delayed as a result of. According to the CIC, contentious issues like was the case with the elections date are a part of the interpretation process and even when they raise eyebrows, they should not divert attention from the principles of constitutionalism and the rule of law. I don't think that as a country uh, we should uh, uh, expect a situation where there will be no differences uh, insofar as interpreting the constitution is concerned. I don't think the constitution expects that and that is why it provides a mechanism for resolving those differences because it expects that there will be issues of uh, interpretation. So our focus collectively should be on where we have an issue of interpretation of the constitution, how do we deal with it? Milton Yakundi for Weekend Edition.